push now to win over the millennial vote. The folks between the ages, of course, of 18 and 33. Hillary Clinton, a potential presidential contender in 2016, sending a love letter of sorts to millennials during a recent speech at UCLA. We need you. We need your energy. We need your talents. We need your commitment to participation. We cannot afford to let the millennial generation become a lost generation. Senator Rand Paul also reaching out to young adults during his speech at CPAC, saying he would fight back against NSA surveillance of cell phones. Will you, America's next generation of liberty lovers, will you stand and be heard? We will not submit and we will not trade our liberty for security. Not now, not ever. Joining me now, Julie Raginski, former political advisor to the late New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg and a Fox News contributor. Also, David Avella, president of GOPAC. All right, so we're seeing both sides really going at this young vote. David, what do you make of it? Well, as a new father of a two-week-old, I, I have a particular interest in what younger generations think of conservatism. And I think about what Winston Churchill said, which is, show me a young conservative, and I'll show you someone with no heart. Show me a old liberal, and I'll show you someone with no brain. And uh, <laughs> so with that, I'll give you two examples that make me feel very hopeful that Millennials will come around to conservative principles. One was in the LA Times, where a uh, young lady uh, talking about her health care going up so much, 50%. She goes, I was for Obamacare until I learned I had to pay for it, <laughs> and realizing what those cost. Second, um, I know a young gentleman, Abbas Eber, who owns a suit making company called Aspetto. He said, if regulations weren't so high, and taxes weren't so high, I'd hire more people. Mm. I'd pay them more well, money. Yeah, but, but how are you going to get that message across? And Julie, I know you don't want to get that message across to young people for the conservative side, but why is it that it appears on its face that the conservatives like liberals more? Well, so the millennials, you, you, millennials. Had a, you had a Pew research poll that came out that was very instructive about what it is that millennials like about liberals. And millennials, this is the first time that actually a generation identifies itself more with liberals than with conservatives, I think, in the history of the, excuse me, of the Pew poll. And there were three issues that really stood out to me. One was same-sex marriage. Seventy percent of millennials want same-sex marriage. Okay. One was uh, pro-life, pro-choice, excuse me. They overwhelmingly support pro-choice. And one was immigration reform. They overwhelmingly support a pathway to citizenship. And so when you look at those three issues, those are obviously all issues that Democrats tend to be for more so than Republicans. Mm -hmm. And when you look at issues like that, even somebody like Rand Paul, who definitely obviously at CPAC, you saw one CPAC in large part because of millennials and because of uh, what he engenders among millennials, but if you look at the issues, they're not with even with Rand Paul and the issues. They're really more with the Democrats, but, but, and that's look, the problem for Republicans. But look at this poll, because three in ten millennials identify as liberal in their political beliefs. Thirty-nine percent call themselves moderate, and twenty-six percent consider themselves conservative. So that makes millennials the only generation with more self-identified liberals, as you said, Julie, than conservatives. But there's this huge chunk, David, in the middle that says that they are moderates. So it looks like they could go either way. They could go either way. And as they continue to struggle to find jobs under the, under the no recovery by President Obama, as they continue to learn more about Obamacare and they increasingly dislike it, um, as they continue to pay higher and higher taxes and not getting better and better services out of government, they start, their, their views start lining more with conservatism. Well, and Julie, those three factors that you brought up, is that why people really go to the polls to vote sure. or will or will they go to the polls based on the economy and jobs well it's always the economy and jobs it's always the number one issue but if you look at what drives Millennials in this poll and you look at the fact that yes a lot of them identify as moderates but according to this poll again 50% of them either lean or identify themselves as Democrats only a third is Republicans so those moderates if having to choose between a party end up choosing obviously to go with the Democrats overwhelmingly so by almost 20 points that to me says that unless Republicans really change the trajectory and I would start I, I know that social issues are difficult for them yeah. but I would start with something like a pathway to citizenship for immigration again that's something that is so important to this new to the younger generation not just to Latinos but to, to Millennials all across the board we'll unless the Republican Party starts to get with the program for the younger voters they're gonna keep losing presidential elections they're just well, not it's not on their side that's interesting we keep debating it right here right. have a fantastic Monday thanks so much Thanks. Oscar Pistorius breaking down at his murder trial in South Africa